I don't have a great feeling about it because I see what's happened to other similar spaces in the city and we believe this is the last one of its kind. I've always wanted to be in this building. I felt like I'd found Nirvana. I think this is the heart of Melbourne. It's kind of B-grade office space compared to modern office space now, but it, it suits a wide variety of purposes. My partner died 13 years ago, and I was really bereft, like really lost. That moved me into deciding I would use his clothes and our sheets to make myself a bedspread. And I thought I could do this for other people. I think the thing that I loved most was a young woman and I made a baby blanket with her mother's clothes. And she sent me an email saying, every time I wrap my baby in the rug, I know I'm wrapping him in my mother's love. Being in here has been integral, I think, to my development in relation to this work. My profession is a best book tailor. Time from South America, Peru. And well, this is my place where I work. This is the building artistic, where they make everything. Shoesmaker, painting, jeweler, <laughs> tailor. <laughs> Few things that the all is artistic. In one man's suit, nearly two weeks. This is art. I don't want to leave this because it's, it's love in art. This is that. I've been in this building for 26 years. <laughs> I've made shoes for the Hof. I've made shoes for... <laughs> I've made shoes for Heath Ledger, um, I've made shoes for David Carradine, the old kung fu actor, uh, a huge range of people. It's a charming building, a beautiful building to be in. We've been very lucky to be here. Over the years there's been a huge range and change of tenants in the building which has kept it interesting for me in terms of community and seeing what other people are doing and keeping, keeping myself entertained with the possibilities. I'm an illustrator uh, and sometime animator and I'm just starting work on my first comic. So this is a shared space on the ninth floor. We are a loose assortment of uh, mostly fine artists. Everyone gets along well. Everyone really respects each other's space, I have to say. And the main thing for me, it's a very hard working space. So everybody here is, is very serious about their art. It really, for me, it depends on who does buy it. We'll look at what other art studios are, and there's great art studios out there in Melbourne, inner and outer suburbs, but in terms of this fabulous area, um, this is kind of it, I think. Uh, no, you sort of worry that a bit of the soul's going to get sucked away. Yeah, it'd be a big loss. Well, it is going to be sold. I don't know how it affects the future. It may continue sailing on its merry way as a melting pot like it is, or it might be turned into something else that the future doesn't know. I don't think people are going to move out of here very easily. I think it will be, it will be quite a process if they do want to make big changes or, or kick the current tenants out. I still feel I am so lucky to be here. This is a great gift in life. It's about being part of something bigger than yourself. Yeah, I mean, artists are very resourceful. <laughs> so we will figure something out.